the knowledge of Upanishads. The juice of Vedic wisdom. The Vedic wisdom comprises of two kinds of knowledge. One, which enables a human to transact with all and every material aspect. And the another part is about relinquishment, nivritti, atmutkarsh, to stay with something which is eternal, which is as it is. How could one evolve and transcend from the material confinements to the journey of journey towards inner self? And Vedic wisdom, at least by learning, understanding, even at its ephemeral levels, bestows one's subconscious mind with such a deep thought, unknowingly, that understanding pervades your mind and prevails all through when you dispense each and every activity of your life. It is for sure that final emancipation and the final transition towards Atmano Mokshart shall certainly take time. But it is also a confirmed aspect with testimony by this teacher. You may remain engrossed into the material world. You may. But if you are somehow associated with the esoteric understanding of Adhyatma, the science of soul, maybe in an intermittent phase, there is no doubt the indelible impressions cast by this knowledge shall never allow you to distance from the real objective of human manifestation. That is Upanishads. The Vedantic wisdom, the wisdom of Vedas, the conclusion drawn by the great masters, its light is highly contagious. Contagious for a reason once an inclination, once a bent of mind develops, then there is no coming back from it. However, the immensity of turbulence in your life may surface. You may confront a battlefield of conflicts. Yet, once this relationship with the science of soul is established, something happens between you and the unseen dimension. A relationship that is beyond any mutation is established. Something keeps surfacing through circumstances or whatever to again draw you towards an association with the science of soul because the ultimate and inevitable objective of human manifestation has to be cherished. Atmano The complete is Atmano Mokshart Jagat Hitahasha. Thank you.